Here we are with the legend, the man, all the way from Moscow to Istanbul to Miami, and then from Miami to Orlando. Long flight, Costa Zoo. Welcome. Flights and yep. driving <laughs> from uh, Miami. We have been doing the car. Uh, had some good drive. Four hours. It's all right. When was the last time you were back in America? Last time in America, I think it's when I was inducted in the National Boxing Hall of Fame. Maybe two years ago? Two? No, it's already five, five years ago. Oh, shit, it's 2019. No, actually earlier. Oh. Uh, 11. Wow. How's it feel to be back in America where you caused a lot of trouble here? Beating, <laughs> you beat a lot of opponents here. Uh, nothing personal. <laughs> nothing personal? But good to be back, huh? Yeah, good to be back. Good to be back in a place where so, many, so much memory, yeah. uh, good memory. What do you know about this fighter, Murtazali, and, and his background, being you know, Russian and then... Yeah, got a Russian Chechnya. Yep. Um, I, I don't know much about him. Uh, but I, one thing I know that all the Chechen people is strong, yep. mentally strong. Uh, they got attitude, yeah. prepared to die in the ring. Yeah. Uh, and he's, he's, even he's 31, he's still hungry. Yeah. I think, I don't know if it was distorted media. So in Australia, sometimes we have some media that puts stuff out there that's not true. But were you nervous about Tim taking this fight? Because of how tough this Russian Chechen fighter is? No. I believe what Tim can do. Mm. I believe in his ability. Even after the last fight, he lost a uh, very close loss. Uh, but because we spent time together in a training camp in Thailand. Yeah, I want to talk about that. We very good understanding each other uh, and I believe that he's much stronger mentally than before that was a we were all there it was a tough night the first two rounds obviously everyone knows he got off to a good start kind of fell into the elbow got cut went to, yeah go to the scorecard he lost could have gone either way. Yeah. The American media, Australian media, Tim Zhu, warrior, warrior. What's your, and I know you're honest, man, what's your honest take on that fight from all aspects? That, that fight? Pandora. Uh, <clears throat> I still can't believe how you able to make weight. 154. 6'6". Six, six. With 6'6". How? <laughs> Uh, but he did a good job, he tried very hard and uh, he was like, uh, boosting himself up. Yes, uh, right. uh, seeing Tim's blood more sometimes, uh, you know, that when you see somebody, el somebody else's blood, not yours, uh, even more exciting. Yeah. Uh, it's, sometimes it's normal. Uh, what this means that uh, uh, it can be very different on rematch and we're hoping uh, you want to get you want your son to get him back yeah, yeah. and destroy him i said to jeno we don't want to harp on it too much but we're good we've got that out of the way tim leaves the next day with his beautiful partner they go to hawaii then he goes from hawaii back to sydney australia then you and him show up in thailand which was incredible like a beautiful effort for everyone you know what i mean yeah. we see costa and Tim, in all honesty, straight away, how was Tim when he got to Thailand and how did he feel about everything that happened in Vegas when he opened up to you, like from a from a son point of view? You know how difficult it was for me? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah we know. <laughs> we know what you would have been like. I'm not able to see life all coming in the late, two, three minutes late each round. Uh, and 
and sometimes it's happened like five, ten minutes wait, and you, you don't know what to expect. You can see the blood is shit. Uh, oh, really? I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. Um, wow. So you didn't see the fight live? No. Uh, and okay. What uh, I usually do during this, I'm judging myself. Round by round. Round by round. Uh, I could probably have a look uh, what I put there. Uh, but my honest belief that a referee should stop the fight. It's a referee mistake. Uh, it's not a mistake, it's a fault. Uh, bleed so much. It's not, it's not good. Mm. It's... Uh, I mean, every uh, referee should protect the, uh, the fighter. If he didn't protect him. When Tim first saw you, I think you went for a run. You were running in Thailand and that's sweating, working. I didn't run, he ran. He ran, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to run. But how did he open, what I'm saying is, how did he open up to pups? Right? You're his pups, his father. How upset was he? Or was he more like, Dad, Papa, I should have done this, I should have done that. I don't like sh word shouldn't. Yeah. You did or didn't? Or you, okay. you don't? Yeah. Uh, we had good talk. Yeah. Uh, I'm strong and heavy in terms of uh, discipline, uh, in terms of mental discipline, but I'm father. Uh, whatever happened, I'm still going to be on his side. Uh, if you made mistake, I traveled. I, for me, it's important to find these mistakes, uh, explain to him, and still wiser. <laughs> All the wiser, uh, and I've got much heavier life than him. Uh, for, for me, it was important to find the words yeah. uh, to team for him to try to get rid of that fight from his head completely gone he's, the, he's gone learned that he made some mistakes he still made some mistakes uh, and how to avoid them the next time I'm going to go back to a very tough night for us in Australia when you unfortunately lost to Vince Phillips did you sort of have to well, Tim had never had a loss, right? It's his first loss. Unfortunately, you lost against Vince. He had many great wins. But did you give the, you know, the strength and the stuff that Absolutely. Costa Zoo overcome from Vince Phillips? Because I don't think you were 100% that night when you fought Vince. But did you speak to Tim about that? I can't remember. We had lots of talks. Yeah. We had lots of great conversation with we had nearly two weeks yeah, uh, good. every day sitting each other, seeing each other, talking to each other, yeah. discussing stuff uh, about, about, about normal things, about life, about fights, everything. Yeah. Uh, and I hope uh, all the everything happened to me, with me, uh, would help him with something. That's how I think. Do you think this time Tim will be a completely, it, a week, and, and Glenn Jennings, the manager, said that we're gonna see a new, this is a new chapter, Noonan, for Tim Zhu and Team Zhu too. You believe this will be a brand new Tim Zhu we'll see completely Saturday night? different Tim Zhu. Oh, okay. How? Without giving too much away. Without giving too much away? If not everyone would understand whatever I'm going to say, uh, if you're going to come to me in terms of what I said, uh, some time ago I created a system, a love good system. It doesn't matter what you do. Uh, Sticking to the plan. I create 
system of preparation of what you do in the ring. Well, uh, how you do in the ring, what combinations, uh, and they create this and made. He called this uh, boxing chest, chest of boxing. That's what Tim will bring. He'll bring the chest to the game. And I hope you remember what I said uh, and uh, how it's happened to me. Uh, when I start, when I become trainer, some uh, uh, Russian uh, professional boxers, Lebedev, Fabetkin, uh, Alafedev, they become world champion. Uh, I start doing a few things, uh, like a chest. For example, you throw a left jab. On left jab, you have few defenses. On that few defenses, you have to you have few counts. Mm -hmm. On that few counts, we have from up from other side few different variation of comeback. Yeah. And three, four uh, steps of combinations. It's 20, 30 different variety of combinations there, different yeah. ways. If you prepare each of them, each, which is uh, three steps combinations, it's about 20 variety of uh, different ones. You cover all bases. And you not only cover, during training, you do them all, all, the, all of them. And what's happening in the fight, uh, You prepare, you come, you throw in the left jab, you do move, but you defend. But you know you know already what to do next. Automatically. And it comes manually. Boom. Because the training takes and over. And that's how I did okay. in my career. And that, um, I did lots of uh, lots of fights, and uh, after my retirement, I watched them. I start thinking why I've done this, why I've done that. And then this, all the program come to me because of this, of thinking a lot of yeah. what I did. And I, I thought, let, let, let's create this, and I've done it. And I'm, we made few things with Tim. If you still remember them, uh, it'll surprise. You went, you, after that you went back to Russia, Tim then come back to Australia and then we announced this fight with Murtazali. Murtazali is the world champion. Yeah. Glenn and the team bring Tim back over to Las Vegas. Tim gets set up in Las Vegas. There's even word that Tim will probably move over here January, February, get a house. What do you think about Tim's transition of what he's done in Australia but now living out here, being full-time boxing out here? <laughs> you need to focus. Yep. It's a good thing that, uh, good and bad. Uh, I'm not grandfather yet. <laughs> yet. Good and bad. Yet. <laughs> yet. Five years. Uh, uh, <laughs> right. Don't tell me this place. Because <laughs> then you could have another one coming through. When, when he's going to make the first one, yeah. his attitude towards sport and career slightly change, will change. Okay. Because uh, it's a new kid in the family, it's, uh, yeah. I mean, it's very, I remember Tim Bond. You remember when Tim Bond, before Tim Bond? It's uh, 94, November, 2nd of November, in three months time, I won my first world title. Yeah, yeah it was about, yeah, because it was about 18 months after his debut, because he debuted and what? When was Costa's first ever fight? First of March. First of March, or oh, second of March, uh, 92. 92. It's my first debut uh, on uh, Daryl House uh, yeah, wow. in Victoria. Yeah. And then Jake Rodriguez was. Rodriguez. Jake. First, first title. 
uh, 30th of uh, January. 30 January, which is only a 95. few months after Jesus. 95. 95? Yeah. Alright, oh, that's tight. So, Costa, what I'm saying is, for you, talking about the transition, and you, you put, you put, you have to put the sport first. Yeah. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else matter. But Tim, Tim's looking at moving to America. Why not? Maybe we will move to Saudi Arabia or Thailand or Thailand to. to he can have a copy with Turkey. Makes sense, mate. He's been there six months this year. Yeah, yeah. It just costs us a lot less commercially. In you know that in Dubai they're building the biggest casino now. I know who doing this. I know you're, you're do, involved. <laughs> and I'm involved there. Do you, do you go there much, to Dubai? Uh, no, not much, but I uh, probably will. will. <laughs> yeah. There's some other big names in this division. And like, like when you were fighting at 40, when you were fighting 140, yeah, there's a lot of big names as well. There's some big names coming up for Tim in this division. I'm going to talk to you about a few of them. And if you don't know them, that's okay. Yeah. But Charlo, Spence. Yeah. Crawford, yeah. we've just recently bought Madrimov, yeah. you know what I mean, you've got, um, you've got Pandora, Virgil Ortiz, the list continues. Ortiz already won for 54? Yes, he was he fought twice. 47? No, he fought Moved twice at 154, and it, to be honest, his last fight, he probably wasn't as damaging as what he was at 140. But my, my, my question to you, Costa, is... Team is ready for everyone. Yeah. Answer? Love it. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. But moving out here in America and living out here, there's so many of them that he can fight. Yeah. Who would you like? Anybody. Yeah. Anyone. But a couple of them. I like... want. I want team to have the same attitude like me. I was prepared to fight anyone. Yep. Yeah. Some of, some of them. <laughs> You're right. This is Costa Zoo live and uncut. We don't worry about that. We're not going to chop it up and do anything. This is just freestyling. Some of them two years ago, when Charlo was asked, Charlo, I know, was uh, covering it. Charlo fought Castano. It seems like so long ago. He won all the belts. He was undisputed. A couple of people in the crowd, and many American. 147. 154. 54? 154. Ah, yes, of course. 54. That's all right. 154. Yes, 54, yeah. And a couple, Errol Spence, say, your son, trash, trash, trash. Errol fight Crawford last year and look trash because Crawford made him look stupid. Do you remember when Errol was saying that about your son, that he looked trash? I don't care. You don't care? I don't care, whatever the same. You know what? Uh, you mentioned fight with Gonzalez. Castana. No, no. Oh, your one? Yeah, yeah, one yeah, 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 yeah. I will offer against yeah, Gonzalez. Yeah, yeah. He talks so much. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember. Uh, <laughs> you, you talk about fight <laughs> with uh, Shamba Mitchell. Yep. Second one. He talks so much. You know what? After, he was a good talker, wasn't he? You yeah. know? We had some we had some talk with each other uh, after, after? yeah. What did you say to him? You know, he, no, he said you know he, he, we walking past with this big bump. We walking uh, in, uh, on a press conference together somehow. He walking and said, because you know what? I know it's a trash talk, but somebody someone has to sell the, the fight. I said, good on you guys. Yeah. I prefer someone who talk and sell the. My job is come and do the job in the ring. And you did. And I did. Many times. To be fair though, the landscape of boxing has changed a lot. For this promotion, Tim's actually selling it. Tim's having to sell this, huh? Yeah. Do you like that? Yes, why not? But uh, even when you were the A side, you were very quiet. But how he's selling because they know him they don't know to leave yeah that's why yeah. he's selling but he i don't know how much time he spent with you guys uh Without, what do you mean background huh? no 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 i'm saying that uh, he's just down here uh how much you spending time talking on the internet nah, he's not talking much, much. that's it 
why not? That's okay. If he's selling, we respect that. Because he's with his personality, why not? Yeah. Most important should be uh, all these talks, all the interviews shouldn't interrupt his preparation. Yeah. If he's not, doesn't matter. How special for you today when you arrive? And it's hard, jet lag, tired. Nikita come from one way, <laughs> Tim come from the other way. How oh, special was that? Beautiful. I love it. Oh, you see that? I would prefer not talking to you or talking to of them. Course. <laughs> of course. But well, uh, I'll do my job uh, and then uh, we'll spend some evening together. Have you been keeping a track of Nikita's career and obviously of course, Tim? Uh, of course. Every step. Good thing that uh, uh, they live not far from my, my father, yeah. and and they come into my father's house every day. As I'm speaking with my father every day. Yeah. How is Boris? He's alright. He's alright. Yeah. He can't make it, huh? He couldn't make it. Yeah. Too heavy. Too hard. Too hard. Too far. And he's he's still back in Sydney. Of course. Mm -hmm. He'll be watching on Sunday back in Australia? I'm sure. <laughs> but let's respect the heritage, Russian. How, in Russia, are they going to be able to watch Tim on yes. Saturday? The problem was... Afternoon. What do you mean afternoon? Is it morning? Morning, early morning. Yes, it is early morning. That's the problem. Wow. Uh, that's the problem with fighting in America. We don't have live television. We have live television, but uh, it's early morning. It's not comfortable, not, it's not good. That's why when we go to uh, Dubai or Saudi Arabia, it works. it works for us. Final prediction for Saturday night, because I'm not going to get you tomorrow or Saturday or fight day. And another quick question, him, Bugalug's here, he wants you to walk in the ring with Tim on Saturday. I'm going to be next. Yeah. Hang on, he, I've got who's the boss here? I'm, uh, Is he the, he, I'm, I'm gonna, the I'm gonna there. walk there, but I'm not gonna be in the corner. No, no, he's gonna. So you're gonna walk Tim Zhu out? Yeah, why not? Is that coming out in the media yet, or is that a no? Boy? Fuck you! I haven't even told him. You told me that. You told him. You're gonna sit next to me. No. No, no. no you're gonna sit next to me. Exactly. <laughs> he's gonna walk out if. with this, and he's gonna go and sit in the front row and enjoy the fight. So you'll come out, walk off to the side. 100%. Costa Zoo, thank you so much for your time. Welcome to Orlando. And uh, please do not ever, ever, ever forget and underestimate how much you mean to the Australian boxing community and the impact that you left on boxing worldwide. I uh, believe in boomerang. Australian boomerang works everywhere. Whatever you want to do, or want to give to people, it will come back to you. That means a lot to me because I'm passionate <laughs> about the indigenous people. The boomerang. Yes. No worries. Costa Zoo, thank you so much.